I am back with another problem on bit manipulation. Let's do it. So the problem is we have to find out whether the bit at the kth position is 1 or not. The term is set is nothing but whether it is 1 or not. Suppose consider the number 9. In the binary it can be represented as 1001 and the position given for us is k is equal to 3. So this is the position 3, 1, 2, 3 and we are need to find out whether the bit at this position is 0 or not. So 1 or not. So as it is not 1 we will return the statement as false and you can observe that another number is 17 and the binary representation of 17 is this and the position at which we are asked to find out whether the bit is set or not is k is equal to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you can observe that at the position 5 the number is already set as 1. So you can return this as true. So I think you have got the basic idea of what the question is asked. Now let's look at the ways of doing it. So this can be done by using the shift operators. You can use both left shift as well as right shift operator. Let's do this with the help of left shift operator. Suppose the given number is 5. For the sake of simplicity I have taken this number 5. And the binary representation of this number 5 is 101. Now let's suppose the position given to us is k is equal to 3. So this is the position and we want to find out whether the number at this position whether the bit at this position is 0 or not. So guys basically think of a way of how to do it. Just think that if somehow we can neglect all the remaining bits and we can only focus on this then our task will be easy yeah so you can think that take a number such that the remaining all bits whether to the left of it or right of it they will be placed uh, they will get the uh, value of 0 and the bit at this position will get the value of 1 take some other number x so that this can happen that all the positions which are left to the kth position and all the bits which are right to the kth position will have zeros in our new number which we want and the bit at the kth position is 1. Now what why we are taking this is if we are doing some end operation on these two the number 5 and the number some number which we, we will discuss later the number x then you can observe that because of this 0 all the remaining numbers all the remaining bit positions will become automatically zero and we can focus on this position as the given number is uh, as the number which we are considering x is coming with the position bit uh, bit number as one in this position we can know whether this is zero or one if at all the bit at the third position of the number five is zero then the result will be 0. If at all it is 1, then the result will be other than 0, not equal to 0. So by doing the end operation between these two, we can clearly state that it is having 0 or 1 at that position. Now let's talk about this number x. Suppose the, <coughs> the number be 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, according to the similar procedure we have followed before, we need all zeros in these positions and only one in this position as we need to find out, suppose consider that we need to find out the bit at this position. Now, after doing the end operation, all these will be cancelled and just we need to focus on this. If the result is 1, uh, I don't, I mean if the result is 0, then the bit at this position is 0. And if the result is not equal to 0, then the bit at this position is non-zero, which is 1, as only two possibilities are there. Suppose consider similar thing, 1, 0, 1, 0. And <clears throat> we are given this number and we want to find out the bit at the second position. Otherwise, take the same number, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And we need to find out the bit at the second position. Now, take some number x such that this will give 0, 0, 1, 0. As we want to find out at this position, we are taking this as 1 and the remaining all will automatically become 0 when we do an bitwise end operation between these two numbers x and the given number. And you can find out <clears throat> if at all the number, we will get some number 
zero zero some something here and zero and if at all this number is equal to zero which means that this is the bit zero because of doing the end operation between these two we got this as zero so we can state that the bit at this position is zero if at all the whole number this number is not equal to zero then you can state that there is something other than zero here which means one is there in this position so you can state that the bit at the kth position is one now take this example one zero zero one now for doing this we need an x such that it can place all the remaining positions as zero except the kth position and when we do an bitwise and operator all these will be filled with zeros and uh, the thing that we don't know which bit it is and if the result is zero if the whole result is zero then we can clearly state that this bit is zero and if the whole result is not equal to zero then we can say that this bit is one so guys if you think uh, if you just look at the procedure we have followed first we have taken the number 0 0 0 1 if you want to find out for the first position and if you want to find out for the second position we are taking this as 0 0 1 0 this is the one if you want to find out at the third position we are doing 0 1 0 0 what are these numbers these are nothing but the number 1 and their result after doing the shift operation see this is the number one this is the number one after doing one left shift this is the number one after doing two left shift so you can clearly observe that the number x that we want to take here is nothing but the one which is left shifted k minus one times i think you have got what i am trying to convince so if you want to find out whether the kth bit is set or not just we simply do n and 1 which is left shifted k minus 1 times and we will see if it is not equal to 0 <coughs> then we will uh, print the result as yes the bit is set as 1 and if it is not equal to 0 then we will else if this is not equal to 0 then we will print as no this uh, just this is the logic i will attach the code uh, wait i will write the code here you can observe <coughs> if the number n and the end operation <coughs> yeah and the end operation between these number n and the number 1 which is number 1 which is shifted k minus 1 times so that all the other positions will become 0 except the position at which we want if this result is giving us some non zero number which means that the whole result is not equal to 0 and you can print the result as yes the given <coughs> number has set bit at the kth position and else if at all this is not happening then it's clear that the given number has zero at the kth position so you can print that no it is not having a set bit at the given position so this is using the left shift operator i think you have clearly understood it now it will be easy to understand with the right shift operator so in the left shift operator basically we are shifting the num shifting the one k minus one times to the left in the right shift operator basically the thing we do is just we will shift the n to the right suppose take the number <coughs> take the number one zero one and we want to find out the bit at this position now clearly what we uh, what we can do is just shift this to the right one position and this will become one zero <coughs> 0 1 0 so suppose these all are zeros then the number will become will become 0 1 0 we have dropped this and attached 1 0 at the last now if you do bitwise end with 1 if this is 0 we will get the result as 0 if this is not equal to 0 then we will get the result as not equal to 0 
as you can see that all these will become zeros so the determining factor will be this position if the bit at this position is 1 then the result will be 1 and if the bit at this position is 0 then the whole uh, whole result will become 0 so as we want the second position we are right shifting this by one position if we want to find out the bit at this position 0 0 0 1 0 1 we want to find out the bit at this position then we have to drop these two and we should do an bitwise end operation with one with the result with the leftover number so we have to right shift uh, we have to right shift here for two times so you can clearly observe that what we are doing here is n right shift k minus 1 times end operation with 1 if this whole result is giving the result as 1 then the position then the kth bit has the value 1 and if the result is not equal to 1 which is 0 then the kth bit is having the bit value as 0 hope you understood this I am attaching the codes below, you can look at there.